Welcome to Confessing the Faith, a theological and devotional walk through the 1689 Baptist Confession of Faith. I am your host, Sam Waldron. I'm one of the pastors of Grace Reformed Baptist Church in Owensboro, Kentucky, and the president of Covenant Baptist Theological Seminary. Today, we're going to be considering the subject of the necessity of Scripture. I've called this the necessity of Scripture asserted. The very first words of the 1689 begin with the assertion of the necessity of Scripture. Here they are. The Holy Scripture is the only sufficient, certain, and infallible rule of all saving knowledge, faith, and obedience. Although the light of nature and the works of creation and providence do so far manifest the goodness, wisdom, and power of God as to leave men inexcusable, yet are they not sufficient to give that knowledge of God and his will, which is necessary unto salvation. This assertion, which begins the confession, is actually one of those places where the 1689 supplements the Westminster Confession upon which it was so extensively based. The framers added to the Westminster the sentence, at the very beginning of the confession, the Holy Scripture is the only sufficient, certain, and infallible rule of all saving knowledge, faith, and obedience. These words address the reason for our need for Scripture. Only from Scripture, they assert, do we gain a saving knowledge. Already in this simple assertion, a thousand blind alleys, which human imagination takes with regard to salvation, are blocked. Men, it asserts, need saving knowledge to be saved. That's why it's called saving knowledge. Such saving knowledge can only be found in Scripture. This is an emphatic assertion that contradicts any number of popular ideas. It tells us that men cannot be saved by sincerely following their own religions or their own philosophies. It tells us that saving knowledge cannot be found in the light of nature. It is not written in the stars above or revealed in the dreams of men. The only sufficient, certain, and infallible rule of all saving knowledge is Scripture. If we are interested in the welfare of our souls, it is to this fountain of knowledge that we must come, and from it we must drink.